Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm going to be addressing the issue of the AirPods that are connected to your iPhone or iDevice, but they're not playing music or sound through the actual AirPods. So I'm going to show you several different tips and tricks that you can try on how to fix this particular issue. So to begin, the first thing that I recommend you to try is to actually go ahead and reset your AirPods. Uh, I'd say 80% of the time when you do reset your AirPods, this will remove any temporary glitches or issues that you may be encountering. So if you want to go ahead and reset your AirPods, you can simply do this by pressing and holding onto the button on the back of the uh, AirPods. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to press and hold. And when I start doing that, the light starts flashing on and off in white. And as soon as they do reset, it will notify me with a orange light. Um, so this will take around 30 to seconds. Um, so I'll just let this um, play out. And as you can see, the AirPods have now been reset. So now if I go ahead and repair the AirPods, I'll have to go ahead and reconnect them. And this will just take a couple of moments and now I can go ahead and press done. Okay guys, so another step that I have come across and this is especially helpful for those that are using their AirPods across multiple devices is to actually go ahead and turn the Bluetooth off on the other um, device that you may be using. Um, so in my particular instance, I go between my MacBook and my uh, iPhone with my AirPods and sometimes when I connect the AirPods to the iPhone, there is still kind of a false connection between my AirPods and my MacBook Pro. Um, I'm not sure exactly Exactly why this happens um, but this is easily fixed by going to either your MacBook or even your Apple Watch or iPad and simply disconnect the AirPods or even turn the Bluetooth off and once you've gone ahead and done that you can then go ahead and reconnect your AirPods to your iPhone and additionally you can also go ahead and reset the AirPods as well and this should go ahead and resolve any of the issues that you may be having. So another really great step is to actually go ahead and clean the AirPods themselves as sometimes when they are kind of dirty or there's a buildup of lint or grime within the AirPods themselves, they can be connected to your iPhone but once you take them out, they can still think that the AirPods are in the case so they actually won't play any sound or music um, through the actual AirPods. So to clean them, I will just take them out and then you can go ahead and get a piece of tissue or in this instance, I'm using a Q-tip and this works really well for dislodging any dirt or grime or dust that may be built up in the AirPods. So you can just go in there and kind of just scoop it out and you can also get a torch and just inspect in there and see if there's any dirt as well. And I can also repeat this on the other side. And also if you go ahead and maybe just cut the Q-tip on an angle, you can also use this as kind of a scooping tool to dislodge any kind of stubborn dirt or uh, flint that may be um, built up in there as well. And while you're doing this, you also want to go ahead and clean the bases of the AirPods as well, as this actually allows them to be um, charged and connected to the case. So if you wear these quite often, there actually may be a buildup of grease and kind of dirt on this. So you just want to go ahead and clean that as well. And I'll do the same for this side as well. So once you've gone ahead and done that, you can just put them back in the case and then you can go ahead and reconnect them to your iPhone or again go ahead and reset them and then try the reconnection method again as well. Okay guys, so another really helpful step um, that I've found to be really useful is to actually go ahead and charge your AirPods and especially if they are below around 30% and I've found that if they are on low power there are a lot of issues with connecting and sound issues between the AirPods and other Apple devices as well. So you just want to go ahead and charge them for around 15 to 20 minutes and then you want to go ahead and try and replay any music or sound through the AirPods as their low power actually may be causing the issue. So another really awesome step you can try is to actually go ahead and turn off the automatic air detection. Um, so there may actually be a faulty chip or a faulty um, bug on the AirPods themselves and this is the detection where you actually take them away from your ear and it will stop playing music or when you take them out of the case as well. So you can actually turn this off in the settings and if you go into the settings and then go down to Bluetooth and while your AirPods are connected, you just want to press on the eye icon. 
And when you're in here, you just want to turn off automatic air detection. And this will allow you to keep listening to music or audio, even when you take one AirPod out and put it in the case as well. Okay guys, so the next thing you can try is to actually go ahead and restart the Apple device that you are listening to audio with, as this actually may be the device at fault. Um, so for iPhones in particular, you can easily go ahead and restart the device. And this should hopefully remove any temporary glitches or issues that you may be coming across. Um, so for the iPhone 6 and below, you can simply restart your iPhone by pressing the home button and the lock screen for around 30 seconds. If you have the iPhone 7, you can press the volume down and the lock screen together for around 30 seconds and that will restart your device. And if you have the iPhone 8 or above, you can easily restart by pressing the volume up, volume down, and then the lock screen button for around 30 seconds or until the device restarts. So that should hopefully go ahead and remove any temporary glitches or issues that you may be having on either your iPhone, Apple Watch, um, iPad, or even your computer. Okay guys, so if none of these steps have worked for you up until this point, the last thing that I recommend you to do is to actually go ahead and disconnect your AirPods, reconnect them, and then try this um, several times as this has actually uh, been quite successful for removing any glitches or kind of issues with the AirPods. So to do this you just want to go into settings and then go back to Bluetooth and then on the icon you just want to go ahead and forget this device and then confirm these changes and then you want to go ahead and confirm and once you've done that, you just want to go ahead and reopen the AirPods. So once you've gone ahead and done that, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and reconnect the AirPods back to your Apple device. And you just want to repeat this process a couple of times. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and connect, press done. And again, I'll go ahead and go back into settings, disconnect, and then repeat the process. And for whatever the reason, this has been a really successful um, method for many iPod users out there. Okay guys, so there's several tips and tricks that you can use on how to regain sound on your AirPods when they are connected to your iPhone. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If any of these fixes or solutions have worked for you, please share your um, comments and your solutions down below as this will help hundreds if not thousands of other AirPods users out there. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.